When you're modeling in Autodesk Fusion 360, you try your best to work around the origin. Using the origin as your basis, you have three planes, three axes, and a center point to work on. But sometimes you have to make construction geometry. Some people call these work features. We have work planes, work axes, and work points. What I'd like to do in this blog is to cover a few of these and give you some tips. First of all, you must pick directly the one you want. In Inventor, you can pick one and you can chain to other ones, but this one you have to pick. Let's go to the first one, Offset Plane. Now, you can work either on a surface, any surface, and you can then drag it or type in dimensions, negative if you need to, to go one way or the other. Now, you can also re-anchor it. Re-anchoring means you can work measuring off another face. For example, this plane right now is 5.1 off the far face. So I can work it one inch off of it and it goes right to it. Makes it very easy. Now you can also make offset work planes from other work planes. Now if you want a work plane right on the surface, an easy way to do it is just hit zero dimensions and say OK. All right, let's get rid of those and try some others. The next one in the list is angle at plane at an angle. This is using an edge. I'm going to turn this around so we can see this back edge. I'm going to pick this edge right there. And you notice we have a scale to get any angle you want. Notice it goes around 60 degrees, but we'll not continue to go around. You can also pick on a surface to copy that surface, like that 45 degree. Now one thing to remember about is you can also make these on a sketch. Let's make this sketch visible. It doesn't have to be an edge. So plane at angle, I'll pick on that sketch and then I can make it anything I want. So sketches or edges is up to you. Okay, let's clean those off and do another one. I'm going to go back to the original view. Next one in the line is a tangent plane. Tangent plane works off of a tangency such as this round part. You can change the angle as you want. But you also have a reference plane. So if I wanted to put this plane at some angle to another plane, for example, this slope here, I select this and then I'm measuring off this angle at zero and then I can measure from that. Very handy. I'm just going to cancel that. I want to turn this sketch back off. Now, let's go to the next one. Mid plane. Mid plane means just what it says, between two surfaces or two work planes. If I pick this one, and I pick the inside one by holding down my left click, I get a mid plane. Now remember, the mid plane is there. If this changes in its width, the mid plane will change also. All right, let's get rid of that one. The next one is point plane through two edges. Now, the two edges can be two edges in the model. For example, I've got the hidden line shown. I get it to two edges. It also can be true an edge and a sketch. Let's cancel that and turn our sketch back on. And do the same one through two edges. Use that back line and that sketch. So it doesn't matter. It can be a sketch or an edge. Turn that sketch back off. Let's go to the next one. Three points. Most standard one there is. Three points that are not or or coplanar. It's up to you. Three points that are not coplanar will make a, a surface. By the way, while we have this one, please know you can size the surfaces by the dragging the corner. Okay, let's get rid of that one. And move on to the next one. Next one is 
plain tangent to a face and a point. This one is kind of hard if you don't have a point. So what I'm going to do is use my sketch to get my point. There's my point where the sketch crossed that edge. It's just projected. So I can make a plain tangent through a point. Pick, pick. So it's now exactly on that point. So you can construct planes according to sketches on that curve. Let's get rid of that one and go to the next. Plane along a path. Let me turn that sketch back off. If I pick on this one and pick on a, a path. Now if I pick on this, for example, let's pick on this one first. Now please note the number. That is not a distance. It is a proportion. For example, when I go out until the end is full. When I go to the beginning is zero. So remember, it's a proportion. Kind of hard to calculate where it is, but what you can do is hook into an existing point along that path. Let's cancel that and do another one. This time, we'll do it along the longer path going around the curve. Go around and notice you can stop it on actual point if you want to. Midpoint beginning of the curve, wherever you want. But it's great for doing a sketch along a path that's going to be a sweep. Let's look at some axes. Axis through cylinder, cone, or torus. Most basic of all. If you pick on any curved surface, you get an axis. Now remember that once you create an axis, you can change that into another feature, such as a plane at an angle. So remember, one work feature can make another or help you make another. I'm going to cancel that and get rid of my axis. Okay, next axis is axis through perpendicular to point. This is one of the most worthless ones I can find. If I pick on a phase, wherever I picked, I get an axis. I can't pick a point. I can't pick a vertex. It's just there. I don't know how you can position any other way. I find it very useless. Okay, I'm going to go ahead to the next one. Axis through two planes. Okay, if you have two planes that intersect, for example, there's a plane going up the back side and this plane intersect way up here in the air. So let's pick that one and then pick this one looking through it. Hold down your left click and you'll see there's an axis up there where they intersect. This is great. And you can use work planes as well as faces. Okay, axis for two points. Uh, this can be two vertexes on your model, or it could be between sketch points. Let's do one between this endpoint and this vertex. So it can be sketches as well as vertexes on the model. Axis through edge. If you have an edge and you want an axis through it, it's very easy to do. There's one right there. Any edge can be an axis. But it can then serve as other purposes, but it's not really useful as much as the edge itself. Let's turn that sketch back off. Okay. Axis perpendicular to a face at a point. Now this one is very useful. Shouldn't have turned that sketch off. I want to put an axis on this face at that point. Unlike the other one, this was controllable to give you the exact point. Take the face and the point and there you go. You can also use it and create face and use the vertex. Very useful. Let's move on to work points. Point at a vertex. Vertex of a model or it could be of a sketch. Point at a vertex. Oh, I didn't make that sketch visible. There we go. Let's try again. At a vertex. So it can be used like a sketch point or it can be used on a sketch point. It can also be used to make other work features. Alright, the next one is point through two edges. Two edges that intersect. For example, 
this edge right there and this line edge on the same plane intersect at a point. Let's try again. This edge and this edge up here in space on the same plane and they intersect there. Very useful. Okay, the next one is point from three planes. Okay, three planes that intersect. There's one. These are surfaces, not planes, but it could be work surfaces as well. And they intersect at a point. One, two, three. It could be work features, work planes as well. Next one. Point at the center of a circle. Well, if you just pick that, you pick the center of this, pick this edge, you get a center point. If you have a sphere, you can pick on that. If you have a cylinder, you can pick on the end part of that and get a center point. You could also get the point by another method, by using an axis and a surface, which happens to be the next one. So, let's say that I have an axis going through this. Let's turn that sketch off, and let's put an axis through the center of this, and then I want to make a point right there. Wherever that comes through, it doesn't have to be this, it's very simple. Pick on this surface and that axis, and I get a point. It could be anything. It could be a sketch. It could be a uh, any, any type of line. So there you go. There are different work features that you can use. Again, please just stay, try to stay around the origin. It's best not to create it. Uh, create as few work features as you have to, but sometimes you just have to. Thank you for watching.